Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of the SOFU war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, our culture, our background or whatever interests you. But also, I'm a PhD and a teacher at the university. I teach the courses that I love. And uh, today I had my first real, real offline classes. And that was a long period, starting with COVID epidemics and finishing with war. Um, and it's really difficult how Ukrainian educational system has to adapt to war and epidemics prepared us and many of the courses study online, offline, in this uh, blended mode, but we are strong enough to continue and to continue this kind of normality. Of course, it's difficult when your lectures are interrupted by air raid alarms, but we are lucky to be able to continue. I'm really proud of my students. And you know, recently someone left me a comment that today is the 70th birthday of Putin. And what will I record about him? And I felt like, there is nothing I want to record about him because he is nothing. He is uh, a dying dictator that spoiled not only Ukrainian life, but also the life of Russia for a really long period of time, maybe even for a century. And if there is something I want to talk about him, that will be on the day of his death, but not on the day of his uh, birthday. But also I'm not a person who believes that with the death of Putin, things will change. And that's why, as I had two lectures today and I had beautiful, inspirational students, and one of the students uh, has birthday, Sophia, and I have decided it is much better that I ask them why will Ukraine will, and together we will congratulate Sophia, who is a representative of a new and brave and strong Ukrainian generation that will rebuild our country after the victory. So it's more important to dedicate this vlog to her and people like that. So this will be a very short video because they are shy. And, uh, but I think it will be interesting for you because from what I observe, you like seeing them real life. Uh, so this is a small subgroup of my students who study communicative strategy of the European Union together with me. They are very much inspired, especially after the Ukraine, Ukraine won candidacy and their speeches and answers, they were not prepared. This is just a spontaneous idea. So don't be too judgmental. Okay, guys, this is a small university class and we have just talked about European Union communication strategy. And now I will come up to some of the students and they will tell you why Ukrainians are so brave and why they will win this war. Sofia is a special person. She celebrates her birthday today. And Sofia, why Ukraine will win this war? Because when something bad happens in Ukraine, all Ukrainians unite and they fight against it. Mm -hmm. Maxim? I think that uh, what helps us is just um, our goal and uh, we are, um, as Sophia said, we are all united and um, even though we, mm, we come across some hardships these days, uh, to say the least, but um, we know uh, the importance of, uh, of the victory and that's why we are doing our best in order to achieve it. Okay, thank you so much. Any other ideas, girls? Those who don't want to be filmed, my want. Uh, we all know for what we make our sacrifice today. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we are stronger, we are smarter, and we are better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls. We bought a satellite, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are very resourceful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jana, any idea? Jana is going to write a course paper with me, she has no choice, she must answer. Okay, so uh, we didn't uh, give up uh, at the beginning and we won't do it now because we are fighting for uh, future of our children and for our future generation and if, and if we uh, know if and when we will win, uh, the world will win. Yeah, will be a better place. And, uh, evil will be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday, Putin, right? Evil no, will be. We are waiting for Putin to die. <laughs> yeah, we will celebrate not his birthday, but the day of his death. I'm sorry, guys, it's not very polite. Girls, anything you want to share about our future victory? We are the strongest nation in this world, I think, and we know what we are fighting for. And we win every day. 
Yeah. It's in our blood to fight against Russians. Yeah, we must accept that challenge and we are very grateful for their lives that help us. And girls? I can ask for women because of our desire and willingness to save our culture and stop this influence by Russia. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. I just totally agree. And <laughs> we have to win. Yeah, we have to win. We are very grateful to those countries that help us. And these are just... Uh, super brave Ukrainian heroes, students, once our lecture was interrupted by air raid alarm, today we were lucky to do that together, so Ukraine will win. Slava Ukraini! So all the answers, they were not prepared. Please let me know what are the things you would like to know more about Ukrainian education, universities, uh, schools and so on. Uh, maybe I will show you a brief excursion at the university, but this will be really brief because we are not encouraged to film in such places from the security purposes. Uh, but feel free to ask your questions and thank you so much for the support that you demonstrate. And uh, so these are my students. This is a corridor and I'm moving quickly not to attract the attention of people, so please forgive that. Desks, I don't know what are they doing in this format. This was actually a building of the Central Party, Communist Party, it was Stalin architecture, and now it is used at the university. So please forgive, I look weird. Teachers don't have to look weird, but I do. And it has this Stalin style with columns, Maybe I will show you something, the way it looks. Actually, I like this kind of architecture. It doesn't look that bad. Lots of marble. Let's have a walk. Do you want to see backyard? I hope the windows are clean. This is the backyard. I did not get a permission to film, you know. This is Lesya Ukrainka, the famous Ukrainian poetess, and the university is named after her, and there are lots of paintings with her. Photos from the university life, and huge windows, and no. If there is anything else you would like to see, but let's, lose the, let's use the opportunity that not people, not many people are around. So this is a typical Stalin style architecture and the university where I have studied and where I work too. I try not to include set things in my vlogs, but these are photos of just some of our students who died heroically protecting Ukraine. And there are corners like that in many schools, universities all over Ukraine. Actually, I think there are no schools or universities that are left without that. And this is really sad because these people were meant to build, to live, and they were forced to fight with Russia. So we will never forget and we will never forget. I have showed you the outside of the university for many times, but now it is alive because students return back to studies when they are not interrupted by air raids and this is the university an example of a stalin architecture there are many buildings this is the central one and where my faculty of foreign languages is located so thank you so much for watching if you like my videos and my channel do subscribe as this helps to inform me more people about ukraine my beautiful country and the situation as this war continues thank you for buying me coffees for becoming my patrons but most importantly thank you for the support that you demonstrate to the country of uh, ukraine and we will definitely win this war slava ukraini